Do you want to sell Canva templates but feel overwhelmed at the process of even starting? If so, I have you covered. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to make three easy Canva templates that you could sell online as a bundle or individually and start earning passive income from. Now, these are going to be easy Canva templates that you could design quickly, even if you have little to no graphic design experience. So if you're ready to start making passive income and gaining financial freedom to do the things you love, make sure to watch until the end. And also because I'm gonna be showing you how to share these templates the right way. Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel and you wanna learn how to turn your passions into profits, make sure to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell to be the first one notified of any new videos. Now, in order to create Canva templates that you could sell and the customer will edit themselves, you need to make sure that you have a Canva Pro account. This will give you the ability to share templates with your prospective buyers that they could edit themselves. So if you currently don't have Canva Pro, try it out for 30 days using my free referral link. I will leave it in the text box description below. So let's head over to my computer to get this tutorial started. All right, so here we are on Canva. And the first thing you want to do is head over to templates. You could use any of these here. Um, what we're going to be creating today, the first one is going to be Instagram story highlight covers. These do really well, especially on Etsy. And I wanted to kind of show you how easy it is to create them. Now, when you create, when you do a search for them, you're going to get these pre-made templates down here. So you could either use one of these to kind of build off your own template, or you could create a blank one. Now, keep in mind, if you use one of the pre-made templates, you want to make sure that the final product looks very, very different from the original one. What I recommend is just using this for inspiration, but creating your own and making it look very, very different. So if you were to click here, I'm going to use this one to build off my own template because it has to circle and it's like right on the right spot. And that's what I'm using it for. I'm going to go ahead and make my final product look very, very different. So I'm not to worry about using this as a, as a build off of my template. Now, keep in mind also that when you're adding elements to your template to make sure that you're using free elements, because if you happen to use an element from the pro account and the customer that gets this file doesn't have the pro account, they wouldn't be able to use those elements. Um, and you don't want that. So you don't want to have to deal with that later on with a customer that's like, I can't use this template. Now, as you can see, I deleted the font. I took the lines off. I'm going to change the background to white. And I'm going to change the circle to a different color, one of my branding colors. So as you can see, this is already significantly different from the original file. And from here, I'm going to make additional changes. So I'm going to go to Elements. and these are the different things that you could use background flower spring. You could actually do a quick search here for anything that you want to look for, but make sure that once you do the search, you go to settings right here and you apply free because you don't want to use any that are from the pro account because the customer most likely wouldn't have access to that. A lot of customers don't use this um, account as a pro. So keep that in mind. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to photos, and I'm going to look for marbles because that's what I'm into. I love anything that's made of marble. And I'm going to change this for free pictures of marble backgrounds because I want to use the free ones here. So these are going to be the different options um, that I'm getting. I'm going to go ahead and remove the word, uh, the S, and just have marble by itself. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead again and click on free. Okay, it's already checked. And I'm going to look through these to see if any of these resonate with me. Um, let's see which one I like. I kind of like, like light my, like this one here. So I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to use this as the background of my highlight Instagram story cover. And I'm going to position it to the back. So the circles in the front of it. And I already like how this looks. Look at how beautiful this is. Now I'm going to go to text. Keep in mind that some of the text you could, some of the fonts you could use for commercial and some you can. 
So I'm going to leave instructions right below the video on how you could check if this is a font that you could use for commercial rights. And from here, I'm going to just go ahead and say this Instagram story highlight is going to be about me. Now, keep in mind that when the customer buys this file from you, everything, they could change everything in the actual Instagram highlight cover. So they could change the font. They could change the color. They could remove this if they don't want it. So it's really nice because they could potentially personalize it any way that they want. From here, I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to say um, shop now. I'm going to duplicate it again and I'm going to say reviews. And this is how simple it is. As you can see, it didn't take me that long to create this particular product. You could do a pack of 10 of these and this could be a product that you could sell individually or you could bundle together with the two additional products that I'm about to show you. But this is how easy it is to create Instagram highlight story covers. So now let's jump into the next design that I wanna show you. So we're gonna go back to templates. I'm gonna close this out. The next one we're gonna do is gonna be Instagram posts. And I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create them. So I went ahead and click here, Instagram posts. And I'm going to have, again, a blank post and some pre-made ones that you could use for inspiration, but not to sell as your own. So I'm going to go ahead and work from blank one. So I'm going to go ahead and put here um, a blank one. What's nice also is that when you select any of these from Canva, they're already um, optimized for that platform. So you don't have to worry about the actual post getting truncated or being too small for the particular platform that you're creating it from. This is already optimized for Instagram, so there's nothing else you need to do besides creating the actual design. So I'm gonna go ahead and create these from scratch. I'm gonna make it pink, it's one of my favorite colors. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Elements, um, and I'm gonna go to Shapes and Lines. And these are pretty much free as well. You could use them, uh, so you don't have to worry about using them. I'm gonna use um, this one here. So I'm gonna use the square border if it lets me add it. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and put it up here. And I'm gonna change this to white. And I'm gonna add my text. And I'm gonna say this is gonna be for, let's say a blogger, um, templates for bloggers. So let's go ahead and delete this down here. And I'm going to say new, oops, I think I clicked it twice. So let's delete this one. And I'm going to say new blog post. And this could be something that, you know, you could sell that potentially that person will, will go ahead and use on their Instagram to share that they have a new blog post. So that could be one right there. I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna delete that, delete the, the border, and I'm gonna make something a little bit different. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with the same style that we were using earlier with the marble, just to create something fun and different. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this right in the middle, right here like this. I'm gonna use the pink as an outline in the back looks pretty cool and then I'm gonna add text right on top and I'm gonna say um, follow Friday right some people do that as well and this could be another post that you could potentially create with this bundle package and this one will go with the first one that we created because it has the same color scheme so it's really nice and then I'm gonna do one last one I'm gonna change this up Maybe make this, um, let's see how we could do this. Let's rotate it. And you could do something like this if you wanted to, just to kind of do something different. That looks really cool, and it goes with the same aesthetic. And let's go ahead and say, you could ask a question, what do you struggle with? And this could be like maybe a post that someone does that they put for their audience. Like, what do you struggle with? And then people leave the 
question or whatever they struggle with in the comments below. So this is how simple it is to create Instagram posts. It's just getting very creative, doing something that looks different to what everyone is selling, making sure this it has the same aesthetic to if you're going to bundle it together, it has the same aesthetic. But as you can see, it's very simple to create this. Now, the third product I'm going to show you is how to create an Instagram story highlight post. And if you're finding value on this video, please like this post, leave a comment below, and at the end of the video, share it on your favorite platform. It does help me grow my channel when you guys leave a comment and like, and it tells the algorithm that you guys like my video. So make sure you do so and don't forget. So let's go ahead and do the final one and stay till the end because I'm going to show you how to share these um, for your prospective buyers so they don't mess up your templates, your original ones. So now we're going to do um, Instagram stories. So I'm just going to click on Instagram stories here. It's going to open a new window. And again, it's going to be the same, um, the same walkthrough. You're going to get these pre-made samples or you could just create one from scratch. So these are all pre-made samples that you could use if you wanted to. And like I said, or you could create one from scratch. So I'm going to use this one here. I kind of like the aesthetic of it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on use. But obviously my final one is going to be very different. So I'm not going to keep it the same. And I'm going to try to keep it the same colors that we're already working with. Just so you could see that you could potentially bundle these and make one listing and sell all three products the highlight cover, the Instagram post, and the Instagram stories. And you could also sell them individually if you wanted to. And that will help you duplicate your listings or have more listings. So I'm going to change the background to a pink. And I'm going to change the font to a different font, right? So I'm going to use probably um, this one here. And let's see if it let me. It's loading. Okay, so it's going to change in a few. And let's go ahead and change the photo. So I'm going to do the one that we had used already. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the marble one. And I'm going to go ahead and add that one there. So I'm going to make the changes right now as soon as the internet speeds up. <laughs> so let's go ahead and add this photo here. And it's loading, so I do apologize for the delay. And you could delete the old one. Um, that's what I normally would do. And just add yours. So I'm going to add mines. And I'm making it the same aesthetic, so it could match the other one. So that's why you see it this way. And I'm going to stretch it down as soon as it lets me do it. All right, and let me to go ahead and delete this text from down here. As you can see, it's starting to look very different from the original file already. And now we need to change the text so it doesn't look the same as the original one. I'm going to do a different font here. And I'm going to say, um, let me see, new in the blog. Right, and then once you upload these, the prospective buyer could put like little emojis pointing down. They could put like a snapshot of their blog article here, or they could just write something here as well. So you could potentially write it right here, or they could do it with the actual um, features that Instagram offers you. But let's, let's just put here 10 ways to make passive income. And maybe that's the article that the person wrote, right? So then you could just kind of do this, put it right here. And let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And I deleted that line. You can make it this way. You could use other icons here. Like if you go to elements, you could use the money, I, money elements if you wanted to. Again, always go to settings. Once you find a new element that you're working with, apply free and then apply filters. That way it only shows you the, the actual elements that are free. So let's say that you wanted to put this one here. 
this one, this green one right here, you could do that. So it's loading right now, but here we go. So let's put that one right there. We could delete that one. But it could be something this simple. As you can see, it's not as hard. You just have to play around with it. I think the biggest thing is understanding what you could use and what you cannot use. But you could go ahead and do a bundle package where you have all services combined together to make something unique and different for the customer that they will be willing to buy from you. Now, when you're ready, when you create, let's say you do a pack of 10 of these and you're ready to share this template with the prospective buyer. One, like I said in the beginning, you have to make sure that you have a Canva Pro account. If you'd like to use my referral link, I will leave it right below the video. And you're gonna click right here where it says share. And you wanna click on where it says share a link to edit. And then right here is gonna give you this option, share a link to use as a template. This is the one that you wanna share. This is what you wanna give the customer. If you give the customer this one, they're gonna be editing your original file and it's gonna mess up everything because once you start selling these, once somebody makes the changes, it makes a change to all of them. So you wanna see use this one, share a link to use as a template. This is what you're gonna to give to your prospective buyer when they buy from you in order to edit this template and not make any changes to your original file and to anyone else's files. But this is how simple it is to create designs that are quick, easy, that are tech free, you don't have to feel overwhelmed and you can start earning passive income. And the more you do these, the easier they will get and the faster you will become almost like an expert using them. So if you have any questions, I am an open book. Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.